Halini has been a, a very good friend of uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries. Katika Mariva Center, kuna mambo mengi sana nimetoa huko. Recognizing access to information, a basic human right, Alin innovatively used community-based ICT facilities, known as Marifa Centers, to enable some of the most remote areas in Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania access relevant information and services, thus bridging the digital divide. A Marifa Center actually is a product of what Alin has done over the years. Marifa Center is the same as these centers promote documentation of best practices and innovations on farming technologies to promote replication. Additionally, the centers organizes knowledge sharing events like open days, workshops both locally and internationally and exchange visits in a bid to promote exchange of best practices between farmers and service providers along the value chain thus improving livelihoods tulikuwa watatu mimi na mwingine kutoka kiso na mwingine kutoka kiki kuna mambo mengi sana nimetoa wali tupeleka exchange visit huko huko kabani huko kiso na tukajifunza sana mambo ya kuchimba mitaro ya kuharvest maji the center facilitates capacity building activities that include demonstration farms and advisory services aiming at improving farming practices thus enabling farmers improve their income level and attain food security drip irrigation unalima full year round na hii ndio itatusaidia kwa kuwa tunashaka na unajua kwa faro irrigation na hii ukicompare in the same more than 70% ya maji kwa hivyo hii ndio itatusaidia na kama kila mkulima ataweza kuwa na yake kwota aneka hiyo itatusaidia kwa food security the traders who are dealing the cereals they do not have any mercy upon the farmers they are selling us fake seeds fake fertilizers and even fake chemicals all in came in through Mariva Center, and they started bringing us people to give us skills. Ngarwa Marifa Center is one of the Marifa Centers, which is located in Sipili or Moran Ward, Laikipia County. This center champions the use of an online market linkage and knowledge sharing platform known as Soko Plus, which links small-scale farmers with buyers, enabling them to sell at better prices while empowering them to have bargaining powers, thereby reducing exploitation. Tagu Ari ni waikia wame tufugua masho, tukaona bere, especially kwa wakati Soko Pepe ingia, tukabiwa ya komba inausa, inaweza kuusa pesa za vitu vyako ukiwa tu nyumbani. Nilikuwa na chida, ya kwamba tumekuza rima beans na hatuna soko. Sasa nikaanza kupeleleza ijui tutanunuliwa tuta namna gani. Nikaenda local market nikaabiwa niite. Niliuza mali kwingi lakini mwisho nilijua ya kwamba bei ya nyahururu ni 60 shillings. Sasa nikaona ya kwamba hata heli nigeuza hapa. Lakini kufika hapa nikakumbuka ya kwamba kulikuwa na soko pepe. Nikamwendea field officer bet ikamuliza sasa hii stabu imetusubu na mna igetatuliwa na mna gani akaniambia sasa tukutaigiza hii leta hizo lima beans zako tutasiweka kwa mtadao tupiga picha na uandike bei yako ile unataka sasa ikaigizwa baadaye aliniita kutoka nyumbani ya kwamba kuna mtu anahitaji lima beans chenye soko plus inafanya inasaidia mkulima kujua mambo ya soko nje ya hapa kwetu spili. Mimi nikiwa kwangu kama mkulima naweza kujua bei mahali popote nikiwa tu kwangu kupitia hii simu yangu. Kuna wakati tulikuwa grupu hapa SMS ikaingia akasema he umetumiwa pesa. Mimi nikafanya hivi nikatoa simu nika scroll nikaona eh, ni habari ya tissue cash ya bananas 
nikamwambia yenyewe si pesa lakini nimetumia message ya kupada madisi hii ya kisasa inazaa vizuri kuliko ya ile yetu ya kitamaduni akasema ikifika siku ile utaanza kupada hata sisi tutapanda Due to ease of access to the internet facilitated by Marifa centers, an average of 10,400 people access e-government services via the centers yearly. Such services include downloading personal information numbers, payslips, making online tax returns, online registration of exams, online job application, and county development plans. Concerning Marifa center, normally access our payslips in there. And uh, also the uh, officers have uh, benefited a lot because those who are illiterate in computer, they benefited from, get, uh, from being trained. Community members and learning institutions have found Marifa centers invaluable due to the availability of curricular books, information materials and online resources. Nilpata training ya ICT, alafu kitu ya pili na coming to kugather resources yani kitu yote inaweza nisaidia ni improve skills zangu za arts Marifa centers support learning with multimedia approaches that enables users get trained on blogging social media and citizen journalism helping community members voice social issues exposing community plight and make the leaders accountable through the free services that were given at Marifa Center on citizen journalism training. I've acquired skills on writing. I've sharpened my skills even on communication. I've learned to be inquisitive. I've learned never to ignore things around me. And I've also learned to be a voice of the people in my community. Through its structured computer training conducted at Marifa Centers, a total of 5,725 people have been trained on computer ICDL modules. Due to the quality of training offered, a good number secured employment with IEBC during the 2013 elections in Kenya. Some have had job promotions, started their own businesses, while others secured jobs at various entities and business enterprises in various towns. Information in Pataya through my friends like kuna hiyo course ya ICT so general huko kasoma ICT for free na ile knowledge nilipata huko ndio ni apply ndio nikapata job hapa bright computers the uniqueness of this marifa centers made alin become the first organization in sub saharan africa to win various prestigious awards notably the 2011 access to learning award by the bill and melinda gates foundation UNESCO IPDC Prize for Rural Communication, the ICT Innovation for Social Equity and Poverty Reduction Award, among others. The success of this model has led the county government shown interest in adopting the model in every ward to achieve its goal in the Vision 2013 policy framework, which is centralizing of government services digitally while improving access to information in marginalized communities. Our partnerships include the private sector, government departments, the county governments and uh, the donors who support us to do this work. The impact of these centers have been felt in the semi-arid areas and Alin plans to empower cooperatives formed to adopt these Marifa centers for their community with technical support from Alin. Alin is trying to hand over these uh, Marifa centers to local groups. An example in Arua, if the cooperative is strong, then it's the one that will run the Marifa Center with the technical support from Ali. Marifa Centers have achieved remarkable results in use of information and communication technologies, possibly more than any other locally registered NGO.